I'm Wilko Graf von Hardenberg. Uh, I'm currently uh, the Digital Humanities Research Specialist at the Carson Center and I used to be a Carson Fellow. I'm studying the development of uh, nature conservation in the Alpine range. I'm interested in approaching a transnational uh, point of view, so uh, discussing the development of uh, national parks in uh, Italy, France, Switzerland, Austria and Germany. The, my main interest is uh, conflicts. So when you set up a national park, you create a boundary, a boundary which um, gives different rights within and without the national park. And this creates conflicts between the institutions creating a park and the local populations. Setting up a national park is about creating a border between inside and outside. Inside you have new rights, you create new kinds of crimes, the non-acceptance of the local population of these new crimes brings to conflict. People used to have uh, hunting rights you know, or grazing rights on these territories and suddenly, usually suddenly, uh, some national institution decides that this has to become a national park so it has to be protected and so many of these rights, including also fishing rights, uh, get uh, abolished from the, uh, from the state. So the, ne the local communities have the problem that they used to do things which they think are customary but aren't allowed anymore. This has led in uh, many cases, uh, mainly in the Italian case, which is the one which at this moment I still know the best, to court cases in which the local population asked for their customary rights to be recognized by the state. The main finding in the transregional point of view, because, uh, because I want to go over the uh, institutional study of national parks, which are usually studied one by one. You study one national park, then you study the other. I try to compare them and try to compare the difference, the cultural and symbolic difference in different countries and different regions within these countries. Because the Alpine range is very diverse, it's diverse by cultures, it's diverse by landscapes and climate and so I think that there are different conditions in which these parks arise and one of my main findings at this point is that uh, there is not a cultural difference between Germanic and Latin approaches to nature conservation but rather a east-west divide where the parks in the western part, say Switzerland, western Italy and France aimed at what has been called total conservation, so completely protecting the wilderness that was in that area. While the, in the eastern part, that would be Germany, Austria and eastern Italy, it's more about protecting nice landscapes uh, with less care for uh, animals and wildlife. Looking at how these conflicts were managed in historic times, even under completely different kinds of regimes like the fascist regime in Italy or afterwards the Nazi regime in Germany or in parallel the weak democracy which uh, was acting in France in those years uh, may help to understand how to approach uh, similar conflicts in other mountain areas even currently. So uh, I want to go over what has been called by some scholars policy amnesia. So the fact that we tend to forget that we already had some issues and already found ways to solve it or had uh, worst cases, so very bad ways to try to solve it, so to try to avoid to remake errors we already made. 